Australia in Turkey 2015 is a celebration of contemporary Australia. Time to mark the Gallipoli centenary. This cultural festival will ask both nations to meet again to affirm and awaken a true new spirit of friendship through a greater understanding of present day realities and identities. Leading the mission, our man in Turkey, Ambassador James Larson. It was decided uh, some time back that we needed to do more than simply rely on our shared war history. One way of doing that would be reciprocal cultural festivals in each of our countries. We've got an architecture exhibition uh, coming in, Bangara Dance Company and a range of other activities. Festival director is Michelle Wilde, who looks to go beyond the cliches to a more nuanced and sophisticated Turkish understanding of contemporary Australian culture and vice versa. I'm really interested in leaving some kind of legacy. Next year is the introduction to contemporary Australian culture for most Turkish people and I want it to be the beginning of relationships. Michelle's got a great background experience in cultural activities. It's very important to make sure that you bring in somebody for a festival like this who's connected to the arts in Australia and really knows the arts business. We've got a location down at Shoshone Park not very far from central Istanbul and we're hoping that we'll be able to build a pop-up restaurant and that that will be one of the key features of the Australia in Turkey 2015 festival. Greenhouse Istanbul by Yoast will be multidisciplinary, a design, architecture and food undertaking underpinned by Yoast's passion for rigorously sustainable practices. I'm obsessed with waste and reducing it, so whenever I see waste being generated, I always try and work out a different way. The example that I'm using here is how we can build buildings without generating waste and then how to operate hospitality venues without generating waste. Key members of the Greenhouse Istanbul by Yoast team are his wife and organisational impresario Jen. Yoast is always looking at it from an artistic perspective and I'm the one that looks at it, at it sensibly, I guess. And uh, keeps everything normal. <laughs> and the young Melbourne chef, Matt Stone. Matt's really excited about creating food that is local to this region and using the many ideas that they uh, and influences and bringing our our influence to that. That's awesome. Australia in Turkey 2015 is not just the case of us turning up and demanding the spotlight. Connections and collaborations are key and one vital link up is with Gastronomica. We added a new filter to our work, Yost filter, the creation of zero waste. The capital of three empires. How does one capture the imagination of Istanbul? Kids. The Flying Fruit Fly Circus will be touring again for the first time in 10 years and may be co-opting local school children into its performances. The Zorlu Centre will be a hub of festival activity. But while not connected, Australia's presence will include no less a person than Hugh Jackman and the entire Melbourne production of Phantom of the Opera. Another After Dark attraction to excite the Turkish community, Tropfest. Welcome to the premiere screening in Istanbul of Tropfest 2014. And who doesn't love a short film festival, especially if you can win a trip to Australia? Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Eski! Um, I'm Eski. <laughs> well, I just want a ticket to Australia. If tonight is the trailer of how you guys be like in Australia, then I'm craving to see the rest of the movie. <laughs> An Australian importing coffee to Turkey. What a strange turn of events. Let's meet Sam. Lillian, you should have been at the opening. At the ceremony, the Australian ambassadors uh, cocktail party, Australian culture, Turkish culture, getting together. Unbelievable evening. I felt like I was back in Sydney. A lot of Turkish people around. Colin and Brian did an incredible intro to the night. It was amazing. Australian exuberance infused the launch 
and the locals embraced that same spirit. Australia in Turkey 2015, and dare I say it, bring it on.